Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion Versigo E-Series 90mm refracting uh, Alt Altaz telescope. Uh, it's a 90mm diameter telescope, 600mm uh, focal length, that's f6.7, so a nice kind of medium focal length. 90mm uh, is a good size refractor for moon and planets, uh, as well as some brighter deep sky objects. And it's on a Versigo E-Series mount, which is an Altaz mount, which means it goes up, down, left and right. So a very simple system, no need to pull or align. Just plop it down and start using the slow motion knobs to track objects in the sky. So let me show you some of the features. So first of all, the telescope itself. Like I said, 90 millimeter, 600 millimeter focal length. It comes with two eyepieces, a 25 and a 10 millimeter. So you've got up to 60 power out of the box. And you can always enhance that by adding on a Barlow lens or some other higher magnification eyepiece to zoom in even closer. It comes with a 45 degree diagonal here. Uh, so that gives you a correct image. Since this is an Altaz mount, it's going to work great for terrestrial viewing. Let's say you've got a um, room with a view, you're looking out over the bay or the, you've got the distant mountain ranges out there. It pivots up, down, left, and right, so it's great to track along the horizon. And a 45 degree angle will give you that correct image, upright, non-reversed image. Great for daytime viewing. It also works for some astronomy, uh, as you've got a good angle here, so when you're pointing the scope high in the sky, you don't have to crane your neck to get underneath to look straight up. So a uh, 45 degree angle can work for both astronomy and for daytime. It also features a finder scope on the side here. This is the, uh, uh, it's a reflex sight. So when you look through it, you keep both eyes open, and through one eye, looking through the window, you'll see a little red dot floating in the view. It's like a little heads-up display uh, with a red dot. Just put the dot on the object that you want to see, and then it'll be in the field of view of the 25mm uh, or, or the 10 if you've really closely aligned it. Um, so it makes finding objects in the sky very easy. So let's talk about the mount here. Uh, it's a very simple system. It just swivels left and right on this axis, and then up and down on this axis here. And you tension it so you've got a decent amount of tension, and then it'll stay put when you move it by hand, but then you can also use these slow motion knobs to fine tune the positioning. You can see it slowly moving down as I rotate it. Well, that's great at high magnification when you're following a planet. As the Earth rotates, it's gonna slowly pivot out of the view. And at high power, any little motion that you do by hand, that planet zooms from one side of the view to the other. So having slow motion control in both axes really makes tracking a planet very easy. Uh, that also works for daytime viewing too, so when you're following a boat along the horizon on the, on the bay or the ocean, just twisting the uh, azimuth knob will allow you to follow the, the boat as it goes uh, from left to right. The tripod itself is nice and solid uh, metal. It's got a tray, an accessory tray in the middle so you can uh, seat your eyepieces into these holes. There's uh, one, two, three, four holes, and you can see here's the 10 millimeter. If you're using one of the eyepieces, drop the other one in there. And then you've got room for three more. Let's say you buy that Barlow later or some other eyepiece. You can store them there as you're using the scope. Right now I've got it raised up as high as it'll go. So you can actually, uh, well, I'm six foot tall. If I was looking straight in the sky, it might be a little awkward. But using it for terrestrial viewing, this would be perfect. I wouldn't have to bend over. I can just look into the telescope standing up. Uh, if you wanted to sit down and view uh, either the night sky or terrestrially, you can lower the tripod legs another probably about 16 inches, get this thing much lower, get a drummer stool or some other little patio uh, chair, and you'll have a very comfortable sit-down view of the night sky. The scope itself, um, 90 millimeters, can see all sorts of stuff in the night sky. So with the two included eyepieces, you've got up to 60 power. Uh, and at low power, looking at larger objects in the sky, you can actually see many of the deep sky objects. Uh, star clusters come in very well with a, an aperture like this. So the Pleiades, um, very good. Uh, Andromeda Galaxy at low power is very nice. You'll see an oval structure, provided you can get away from some of the city lights uh, where there's no light pollution. That really helps to see those fainter objects. Orion Nebula would be visible with something like this, and a, and a host of other um, of the Messier objects, which are the brightest of the deep sky objects. Uh, lots of them are visible with a scope like this. And then in the solar system, rings of Saturn, no problem. The moons around Jupiter, you can see two cloud bands across the surface of Jupiter. Uh, at 60 power, you'll be able to see those. It'll be a little small. Uh, planets are always fairly small, but if you wanted to enhance it even more, uh, like I said, add on a Barlow or some other higher magnification eyepiece, and you can extend what the telescope can do. The scope also comes with uh, the Moon Map 260, which is a nice uh, uh, reference guide for seeing 
craters, mountain ranges on the moon, identifying those features. It also talks about some of the Apollo landing sites, so you can identify where we've landed on the moon. A very handy thing to go along with a telescope like this. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion 90 millimeter uh, Versigo E-Series refracting Altazimuth telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.